Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. Welcome back to the part 2 of our machine learning project series. So, um, continuing on the wine quality prediction, this video will be covering the linear regression between each features so that we can have uh, select particular features that have correlation between one another and hopefully we can find out whether the wine quality is good or not based on those features values. So without further ado, let's get started. So we will need um, four things to uh, for for this video, which is the train test split, um, linear regression model, R square score, and also pi plot. So make sure you have imported this. So for the next step, we'll be splitting the data into train set and also test set. So what we are doing is actually um, importing from the scikit-learn library. A function called uh, train test split, and we will split the data inside train train CSV with eighty percent for training and twenty percent for um, validation. So the twenty percent is for for testing whether our model or our linear regression model is good enough. So we'll, let's do that now. So we first specify four variables, which is um, x train. Um, x is valid, y train, and also y valid. And let's call the function train test split. And the first, the first um, argument that we will pass in is the attribute. So it's data frame train. So remember last video we um, extracted the attributes using iLock and excluding the label column so we can just copy and paste and the next argument will be that our target which is the label column so it's basically the same however we can change it this to set the end to 10 and then it will only select the last column and we will need at 80% for training so our train size is 0 0.8 and then we can also set a random state to be um, a random number which um, basically saying that um, we can reproduce this result if we set the state to 69 that's basically it. So let's see if this works. Let's call this to be X train. Let's call X train. So we have um, 1200 rows approximately. So let's see X valid. So we have um, 300 rows approximately. So basically the valid set is, um, the train set is four times larger than the validation set. So the 80% rule applies. And for the next part, we'll be tackling the linear regression of the X attributes inside a list which uh, we're concerned about um, fixed acidity, residual sugars, chlorides, free sulfur dioxide, total sulfur dioxide, and also alcohol. And we have to create a linear regression model for each attribute against the attribute density. And we have to compute the R square score, which um, indicates whether a linear regression model is good or not and whether the data is actually close to the linear regression line. So let's do that now. Let's just uh, uncomment this so that we have less typing to do. And let's specify the Y density to be a data frame train dot iLock and 
let's just select data frame train dot columns if the columns is equals is equal to uh, density then we can select it let's check whether we have done a correct job yep we'll just select the density column for this and then for each column we will need a for loop to um, loop through the columns concerned so we compute uh, for each uh, column inside the columns concerned we will create a linear regression model find the r square score and plot the whole thing out so we can do that using a for loop for i in range of the length of um, columns concerned and then for x linear as linear regression is equal to data frame dot data frame train dot location um, excuse me I made a mistake here it should be location only uh, data frame dot train dot columns equals to columns concerned I so the X variable will be uh, extract the first column extract the column so we can print out the uh, xlin one by one so the first one is fixed acidity residual sugar etc and then we have to copy the line that we done before which is to split the data using this line and the test size this time is 20 percent and for the first column we'll be needing the x lean which is uh which is our prediction model and the outcome will be density we'll be comparing it to density so it's y density and then we have to create a linear model linear regression model now which let, let's just set it to model 1 for simplicity's sake a linear regression model being created by linear regression and then fit the model to our data set which is x train we will just want to uh, use the xy training data to train the model and then we have to make it the prediction model 1 dot predict based on the validation set of x and then after we have the prediction we can find out the r, r square score r2 score r2 equals r2 score and y valid we can compare the difference between y valid and y predict to see if there's any difference so let's print the r2 score out for each column and see how it goes and we can also specify the columns concerned so let's make it ours f string um, columns columns concerned i and then the out square score which is out to 
and let's see how it goes. So we can see that um, fixed acidity has almost zero correlation between uh, him and density, and also other other attributes doesn't seem to have a strong relationship as well. However, residual sugar and also alcohol has quite a positive correlation so that we can find out the linear regression model for alcohol and also residual sugars are fairly close and accurate. And so now here comes the actual plotting. We can now um, plot the uh, linear regression line so that we can actually see whether it's close or not based on our human eyes. So we can do that by uh, plot dot title, which is a f string density versus the column concern, just like this. And then let's add some space, return a new line, and then the R square score is equal to the R square. That will be the title of the plot. And then let's plot the scatter value, which is x valid, y valid, and color. To be set the color to be black, and then the linear regression line will be just plot dot plot x valid and y predict, and the color to be red so that we can see the contrast. And let's also set the line width to three so it's thicker and let's create a subplot so that we can pack all the graphs together instead of a massive chunk we can do that by at dot subplot set it equals to 3 2 i plus 1 so it's essentially 3 uh, 3 rows 2 columns and then one by one. And then we have to show the graphs using the tight layout. Layout and also plot.show. So let's run this and see. We can comment this out. Tight out typo. Tight layout. Yep. So as you can see, uh, the tight tight layout doesn't help plot to to be clearly seen, so that we can increase the figure size to to be larger. So let's do figure, and then set the fig size to be um, twelve by ten. Let's see now. Okay. So, fixed acidity, terrible job. Residual sugar is kind of have a line pattern here. Positive correlation. Chloride is absolutely uh, horrible. Free sulfur dioxide as well. There, there isn't a clear pattern here. Sulfur dioxide is kind of have a pattern, but it's not close to the lines. The, the, the dots here are not are not close to the lines. Alcohol, you can see that clearly the negative uh, slope line following the linear regression line. So it's actually very good. So for the next video, I'll be doing classification, which we will actually build a model, a logistic regression model like this, and then to compute their uh, training time, the accuracy, and the F1 score, all that good stuff. And, and we will tackle the feature selection um, its procedure to find out which uh, attributes will yield the best um, accuracy 
and predictions so that we can uh, enhance our model's performance. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.